Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bianca Rosen and today I'll be teaching you how to paint a gorgeous tie-dye pattern. Tie-dye has made a huge comeback recently and I thought it'd be fun to show you how I create tie-dye patterns by using watercolors. I'm using watercolor inks for this painting, but you are free to use whatever you have at hand. So you can use regular watercolors, you can use watered down acrylic paints or watered down gouache or inks and really the sky is the limit. First start off by creating a border on your page. This could be in the shape of a square or a rectangle, whatever shape you prefer, and fill it in with clear water. Once your surface is wet, go in with some pigment. You can use any colors you like in any order or keep it simple and use a rainbow pattern. Remember that when adding your pigment, you need to make sure that your square is still wet, so you have gotta work fast. Notice that the colors bleed like crazy, so don't add too much pigment, otherwise it'll fill up your square instantly. This might require a bit of practice, you may need to watch this video over a few times and see the way I did it, but don't worry and don't give up. As you can see, my yellow has bled way past the area that I'm painting, but that's totally fine because this is going to create a gorgeous, gorgeous pattern in the end when it's all dry. I usually like working with my um, paints ready at hand, so they're usually open and ready. Sometimes I've wet them with water beforehand so that, you know, I'm ready to dip my brush in the pigment and fill up my square. Because if you don't do this beforehand, you might notice that you're spending too much time preparing a color and your square has dried. So that's really key with this technique is that you need to work fast and be prepared. So I've gotten to the end of my colors, I've used all of them now. What I'm going to do is go back in with the same colors and repeat them in the same order. You don't necessarily have to do this because you will still get a beautiful result no matter what, but this is just the way I'm working for this painting in particular. To get the best free-flowing result, don't be too hard on yourself. Work with the pigment, see what it does, and just kind of go in with whatever feels right. You don't need to, you know, follow the curves exactly the way they're spreading. You can just kind of do whatever you want, and that's usually how I get the best results.
adding my last bit of color and I love the way this looks so far, but there's just a little bit of tweaking left. At this stage, my square is almost dry. I've noticed that at the beginning, I don't really like the way the yellow transitions into the green, so I've added a bit more water to this section and I'm going in with a lighter green. Next, I'm going to add a small dot of red just to give it a bit of a pop. And there you have it, a beautiful tie-dye pattern that you've created with paints on paper. And check out the result once it's dry. Look how beautiful that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I will answer everyone's comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos.